Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is the Prince of Math, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And of course, if you like the content seen in tonight's video, then be sure to hit that notification bell and like button. That way, you will indeed be notified for any awesome videos like this in the future. With that out of the way, let's get started with today's video. Alright, so here we have Alita in her Funko Pop box. Looking pretty cool as Funko Pop boxes go. There we have Alita in her Berserker body. She's wearing this kind of leather slash rubber outfit that she wears at the end of the movie. She's got a very pissed and angry expression. Um, as in the third act, she is kind of angry. And uh, I don't blame her. But uh, if you don't know what I'm saying, you better watch the movie to find out. Um, you can see, you can see Alita Battle Angel, the logo there. It's number 563 in the Funko Pop movies line. Looking pretty cool. You can see a cartoon depiction of the character there. Another cartoon depiction of the character right there. See some mechanical parts in the background. Very cool. And you can see the other versions of Alita that you can get. You can get Alita in her doll body, her berserker body, and her motorball body. Pretty cool. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up the box. Let's get her unboxed and take a closer look at this badass bitch. Alright, so here we have Alita out of the box, looking like she's ready to kick some ass. Um, taking a closer look at the figure, again, she has that very angry expression, which is very reminiscent of the third act, where she dons this kind of leather suit. And obviously, she has her berserker armor underneath, you can see that. The mechanical pieces are very Michael Bay Transformer-esque. Very cool. She has that sword that she acquires. Um, I forget what the sword's called. The sword has a name. I just don't remember what it is. But yeah, it's a very cool sword. Very cool figure, actually. She does have uh, have the combat boots with like the, um, the skin-tight sort of rubber or leather outfit that she wears at the end of the movie. Pretty cool looking at that booty. Um, you can see some of the joints in her arm. You can see kind of her hands are kind of very feminine and they're just kind of laying there. But very cool. I like how she's in a very, uh, a very, you know, combative stance. It looks pretty cool. The uh, blade that she has, I, I, I wish I could remember what the name of the sword is, but she has the sword there looking like she's ready to cut some bad guys up. And uh, yeah, not much to really talk about. She's got some long black hair. Although, I wish they would have taken the effort to make her eyes bigger, because, I mean, she has some pretty big eyes in the movie, so, um, I mean, hey, it is what it is, it doesn't look too bad, I just wish that the eyes could be a little bit bigger, and they could have done some more, uh, detail on, like, her, uh, her, um, her berserker body, which you can see underneath this, uh, this, uh, latex or rubber outfit that she appears to be wearing. Uh, again, nice combative stance. The hair is nicely uh, detailed. Although there appears to be some paint smudges on my... I don't know what that is. It looks weird. You can see that in the corner there. But, uh, yeah. Pretty good for anime Funko Pops. As, as far as anime Funko Pops go. But, speaking of anime Funko Pops, let's do some size comparisons with some other anime Funko Pops your boy has in his Funko Pop collection. Which... I may add, is quite expensive. Alright, so here we have Alita in her Berserker body. Looking pretty cool next to Asuka from Evangelion Genesis in her pilot suit. And as you can see, I've noticed this is quite interesting, but Asuka is quite a bit bigger than Alita. I can imagine it's probably because Asuka is quite a bit older, but it's very interesting to see the size comparison there. Um, and it may also be due to Alita being kind of a crouched state. But uh, yeah, it's a very interesting size comparison. Alita in her Berserker body next to Red Eye's Black Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh. And last but certainly not least, here we have Alita in her Berserker body next to Vaporeon. Ah, uh, isn't that nice? Now, I have to say, this is not bad for an anime movie figure. 
actually, I think it's quite good. The only gripe I have is just the amount of glue smear that appears on this figure. Now, this might, might not be all of them. It might just be my copy of the figure. But hey, it's still pretty good. I think they did a great job with the figure. I just wish they could have made the effort to make the eyes slightly bigger. Not too big, so it looks overly dramatic. But considering the character had these huge expressive eyes in the movie, I would expect nothing less than to see a character that has big eyes with, well, big eyes, an action figure from that. But let me know if you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the movie that this figure is based on. And with that being said, do take care, have a great night, and I'll see you guys in the next video.